Hey guys, Broke MQBHD here. Today we're going to be doing a tech review. That's right, a tech review. We do tech reviews on this channel. So if you guys like those, you should totally subscribe and do all the things so you're up to date on all the latest tech. Speaking of the latest tech, today we have uh, right off the presses the Pixel XL. That's right, the Pixel XL, the OG phone uh, of the Pixel line from Google, October 2016. So it's it's hot and ready. Oh boy. Uh, so I can't wait to see what's inside this phone, and I'm sure you can't wait either. So let's just. Let's just, let's just uh, jump get into right it. into let's it. Let's just jump right into it. Um, I'm still, I'm still here. Uh, so this phone in particular has a 5.5 inch touchscreen display. Has Gorilla Glass 4. It has four gigabytes of RAM, and on top of that, it was meant to compete with the iPhone 6. You see that it takes some notes on the style from its competition of the iPhone 6. All it's missing is a little bit of a hot button right here. And you'd be like, wow, Peggy, that's an iPhone 6. And I will tell you, sh uh, shut up. No, it's not. It's a Pixel XL, uh, bitch. So on top of this, we have a camera that shoots 8 megapixel stills and has the capacity to shoot 4K footage at 30 frames a second and 1080p at 60 frames a second. This camera can't even do 1080p at 60 frames a second. And right now you should be looking at some hot stills from this camera, as well as some video footage that you guys should appreciate the quality of this camera. Look at the sharpness in that detail. And most importantly, look at the bokeh in those pictures. Oh, oh man, I just want that bokeh to sit on my face and uh, call me Alex. Uh, but on top of that, you notice that it's still really good and comparable to phones from today, which leads me to the question that I'm sure that you have on your mind. Hey, Pig Cake, why are you reviewing a phone that came out in 2016? Hey, Pig Cake, why don't you get a Samsung Galaxy S9? Hey, Pig Cake, why don't you get an iPhone X? Hey, why don't you shut the fuck up? You don't know what's good for me. I know what's good for me. And I'm gonna show you why I know what's good for me because when we talk about phones in the modern era, we have to talk about something known as the law of diminishing returns. What's the law of diminishing returns, I hear you asking, sitting in front of your computer, dripping of Cheetos and Mountain Dew? Well, I'll tell you what the law of diminishing returns is. So since about 2016, 2015, I wanna say that it doesn't matter what phone you get at this point, because at this point, we've peaked in terms of camera quality. Most phones have at least eight megapixels or above. The Google Pixel happens to have eight in the front, 12 megapixels in the back. We have RAM that's at least three gigabytes of RAM or more. Google Pixel OG has four gigabytes of RAM. We have all fingerprint scanners. This one has one in the back and it's super fast. We have fast processors. Phones have increased in battery life and storage is becoming ridiculously high at a cheaper cost. But in terms of phone, you notice that the law of diminishing returns is 100% accurate. We have a blue phone on one side, we have the Galaxy S9 and the iPhone X on the extreme end, and then we have the Pixel XL somewhere in the middle. Now, the blue phone is something you could pick out in most bodega guys next to the uh, the, the gun store um, and the, the liquor stores, but the Pixel XL is still a phone you could find brand new online for about 300 bucks. And you notice that the difference between the blue phone and the Pixel XL is pretty significant. However, the difference between the Pixel XL and the Galaxy S9 or the iPhone X is not that significant, especially if you don't know what you're looking for. But the cost is what is different. We have the cost of the S9 and the iPhone X, which is significantly higher compared to the cost of the Pixel XL for not much more, especially, especially if you don't know what you're looking for. So is Pig Cake recommending a two-year-old phone as opposed to getting an iPhone X or a Galaxy S9. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, it really doesn't. You get whatever you could afford. However, what I am saying is give it a shot. Most phones now 
really have peaked in terms of features, in terms of camera quality, in terms of screen quality, in terms of processors. We've pretty much peaked. We've gotten to the point where we're making shit up to put on phones just for the sake of it. There's a phone with three cameras. We don't need three cameras on a phone. We don't even need three holes on our body. We're good with just two, uh, two holes. So does Piggy recommend the Pixel XL in 2018? Yeah, yes, he does. Does Piggy recommend getting checked on a regular basis for lumps? Y yes, he does. So because of that, I'm gonna give this Pixel XL in 2018, I'm gonna give it two John Cena You Can't See Me's out of two. I highly recommend getting it. It's a cheap phone and it works in every network unlocked. AT&T, you got T-Mobile, you got Sprint, you got Boost Mobile, you got Cricket, you got uh, whatever the, the O2, whatever they use over there uh, in Europe land, all right, non-freedom town, surrender city, whatever you wanna call it over there. But uh, you guys should definitely check it out if you haven't already. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tech review. This has been a look into a two-year-old phone in 2018. I, I hope you guys subscribe and do all the things that people do, especially if you like tech, you should definitely subscribe and stuff. Uh, well, that's it. I'm gonna go figure out different ways to use a cable tie to uh, figure out why my life is in shambles. I'm gonna do that. I'll see you again when I 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 see you again